Hello and welcome. Today is the Spring Goodwill Challenge Day. Yay! So this is a weird one, hey? Yeah, we haven't been able to go out thrifting. It's just, it's, it's a weird time. So anyway, just so you know, the $5 Goodwill Challenge is hosted by Hillary of Old World Home. I will link her channel above. There's also a playlist of everybody participating and I will link that below. So it's been a weird time because we haven't been able to get out thrifting. And I know this is for everybody that has had the same problem, but I was lucky enough to have been in St. John's the week before the world shut down and I found a couple things for my Goodwill challenge. Um, of course, I've pulled things that I've used in past years and I'm trying to show you what I came up with. Now, it's not my best Goodwill challenge ever, I will tell you that right now, and there's probably lots of things I could do better, but this is what I got. So right here in this corner, uh, um, there's my dishwasher in the corner of my kitchen, is our coffee station. And it, I'm trying to hide all these wires and everything behind because our TV is connected, the cable box, our echo. It's like not the best scenario, but this is what I got. So we've got our old school coffee maker. We do have an espresso, but we've been taking a break from the ordering capsules because they're expensive. Um, so we have that, we have our kettle. So this is what I came up with. These two mugs I found at Value Village when I was in St. John's three weeks ago. Uh, oh, the tag is still on them. So they were both, they were $2.99 for two, which I thought was pretty awesome because Value Village prices are crazy. So this is my uh, Goodwill Challenge find. They're so cute. They're just little bunny ear mugs. So I hung them up there hidden up there this little guy I've shown before I think I just got him at a dollar store and I put these little wooden eggs I got at winners but I have to take him down and show you because he's too cute doesn't he look can I take these out doesn't he look like George Costanza lying on the couch doesn't he anyway this is what I thought he looked like so I put him in there and he's hiding up there but he brings me joy and down here I have my um, thrifted Ray Dunn pieces that I found last year this mug with the spoons in it and this little plate with a candle on it I like to have something I can lay spoons on after I make my coffee or my tea uh, this candle was a gift from Candice uh, for Christmas I think last year and that's just my sugar bowl I just keep that there and that's basically it I would have loved to have found more of these to fill out my hooks or at least one more, but that's it. Anyway, that's what I managed to do this year. I think it's kind of cute. I would like to have done more, but that's it. And I, there's one piece I found at a yard sale that I wanted to incorporate, but I don't really know how. I found this and I just thought it was, it looks vintage, although it's like 1981. So I guess it's technically vintage, but it looks like it's older than that. I just thought it was so strange. Like there's three little girls and the teacher is like this big scary bunny and he's pointing to this giant egg I don't know I just find it very weird but it's still pretty it's like all gold and and I got it for 15 cents the stickers there this was the but the 15 cents and there's this envelope on the back Does anybody have any idea what this is it's like it opens up to a, like a fat envelope like I don't know like what is that anyway I couldn't figure out how to incorporate it in my like, coffee station so I put it on my mantle so anyway that's what I got this year those two little uh, bunny ear mugs and my weird bunny teacher card um, but anyway do check out everybody else in the playlist below and thanks again Hillary for hosting I know it's a very odd time around for looking for things. Although thrifting this time of year around here is kind of impossible anyway. There's just really nothing around. Um, so I was lucky to find those mugs when I was in St. John's three weeks ago. And I hope you guys are all doing well considering we're all housebound and uh, enjoy your isolation, maybe? Anyway, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.